from scary snakes and angry hungry hippos to mad cows on the rampage. Here are tips on how to survive wild animal attacks. 12. Sharks There are more than 400 species of sharks identified today, with three species in particular known to cause the most attacks on humans. The great white, the tiger shark, and the bull shark. But overall, statistics actually show that less than one person each year is killed by a shark. However, should you find yourself in an area of water known to be populated by the big fish, try to avoid lying on the water's surface. And that's because you might resemble a seal or another animal that serves as common prey for the big fish. Should a shark brush against you, try not to panic. They do this nosing around behavior to familiarize themselves with their surroundings. Swimming and splashing though should be avoided, cause sharks can detect vibrations from hundreds of meters away. And they also have a keen sense of smell, so try to prevent blood or urine from entering the water. Try to get to shore by making slow movements, but if the shark does go into full jaws mode and attacks outright, fight back by targeting the gills and the eyes. 11. Mountain Lions Since they have a geographic range that extends from the Canadian Yukon all the way to South America, there are many places where you might encounter these cats. Wearing bells or other noisemakers can often serve to frighten off these potential predators. Mountain lions, which are also known as cougars or pumas, usually will not attack prey that fights back, so stand your ground. If the cat doesn't back off, throw rocks or use pepper spray if you have it. Yell and scream, and make yourself appear scary by holding out extra clothing so it looks like you have wings. Now, if you have a hiking companion that is smaller than you, hoist them on your shoulders, and you'll appear more intimidating to the animal. Now, if the cat does go ahead and attack, be sure to protect your neck by pushing your shoulders up by the ears to protect your throat and neck. Shield the back of the head and neck by crossing your arms behind your head. 10. Bears Ursine attacks on humans tend to be uncommon, but the animals can behave aggressively when surprised. Tour guides will advise you to wear a bell in order to scare off any bears that might be nearby. Talking loudly or singing can also serve the same purpose. Mother bears will attack violently if you move too close to them, so stay away from the cubs by all means. Your proximity to them is interpreted as a threat. Now, Some bear behavior to note is that when they stand up on the hind legs, it's not necessarily a sign of aggression, but of curiosity. Stay calm because the animals would just as soon retreat as fight. Now, If you do run from a bear, you're not going to outrace it and the animal will view you as prey. If the bear does attack, you should act dead and hope the animal loses interest. So, might be worth it to take some acting lessons before entering into bear country. 9. Wolves and free-ranging or wild dogs The frequency of wolves or wild dogs attacking humans usually depends upon the geographic location. Such attacks are really not a common occurrence but because wolves have a bite powerful enough to break thigh bones and crush the human skull, the canids do present a potential threat that cannot be lightly regarded. So, should you find yourself nose to snout with a wolf, try some of the following tips to make a safe getaway. As with many animals on the list, it is best to avoid direct eye contact with the predator, and it's wise not to show your teeth either. Try to appear submissive by looking downward at the ground. Now, if the wolf does attack, Experts advise you to assume the fetal position, curling up and using your arms to cover your neck, because wolves literally go for the jugular. If escape does not appear imminent, use whatever you can to stun the wolf by striking its nose and face. Now, A final gambit is to shove your fist down its throat, because if it can't breathe, it may figure it's not worth the effort to kill you. And if none of that works, well then it comes down to kill or be killed. 8. Cows Now It's difficult to imagine these big, mooing bovines as wild animals that present a danger to us, yet annually cows are said to be the cause of more than 20 human fatalities in the U.S. each year. But the really disturbing part is that those attacks can often involve several cows cooperating in deliberate group attacks. 
So, what do you do to keep Bessie from taking you out? Well, if you have a dog, try to keep it away from the cows, because they might try to chase off the animal since it's viewed as a threat to the calves. Stay calm, move slowly, and don't look the beast directly in the eye. If you do get charged by a mad cow, use an object like trekking poles to strike at the beast quickly and precisely right on the nose, and hopefully that'll be enough to deter the animal. 7. Lions. Now, some of the tips given earlier for escaping mountain lions can be applied to the king of the jungle, like making yourself appear more massive to the beast by lifting up your arms or flapping your jacket. Just don't turn your back, though, or you're going to be regarded as prey. Now, do maintain eye contact with the big cat, kind of a reversal of policy with many of these other animals. It's even advised to talk to the lion in a loud and confident tone while gesticulating and making additional noises. Experts say that exhibiting this type of behavior can appear so unusual for prey that the lion can become confused and merely view you as an annoyance it really doesn't want to bother with. Well, that's the theory anyway. 6. Bees, Wasps, and Hornets Insects like these can be pretty aggressive and some species are easily provoked. To discourage this behavior, try to avoid wearing dark colors, because that fashion choice will attract these insects' attention and increase your chances of getting stung. Avoid wearing sweet-smelling perfumes or lotions, since that can attract them as well. Now, if you are unlucky enough to be chased by a swarm, hide in a dark place if you can, because the lack of light can serve to confuse them. But don't run into the nearest lake, because the critters will simply wait for you to surface. Now, if you do receive a sting, attempt to vacate the area immediately, because some of these critters can release an alarm pheromone with the sting that can attract more of them to you. And should you have to run, do not swat at bees, since your movement will further serve to make you a target. 5. Elephants The world's largest and heaviest terrestrial animal is the African bush elephant, which weighs around 13,000 pounds. Now, with that immense size, you would figure it could certainly do some damage, and we have found sources claiming that up to 600 humans are killed by the beasts each year. Well, while they are clever and friendly mammals, they can become aggravated. Females might become incensed if you get too close to the calves, and males can display aggressive, violent behavior during the state of must, a time at which their testosterone levels are ramped up much higher than normal. If you do meet up with one of these critters, pay attention to its body language. If the trunk is twisted and the ears are pulled back, that is a sign the elephant wants to trample you. Now that being the case, the best thing to do is not run away. Instead, seek out something like a boulder or tree that will function as a barrier between you and your enormous aggressor. 4. Crocs and Gators now, these crocodilians are expert ambush predators, so they can strike quickly and fatally. If you must enter territory they're known to inhabit, be on the lookout for nervous water. That's a reference to the ripples or disturbance in the water created by the reptiles. Now, these beasts can run about 10 miles per hour, but they tire out quickly, so it is actually best to run if you're confronted. They can inflict a single defensive bite, and that would actually be your best case scenario, because those bites are quick and the animal releases you. But if the beast clamps down and holds on, it's going to try to pull you underwater. Then there is no option but to fight back. So, the most sensitive parts of a croc or gator are the eyes, ears, and nostrils. Use whatever's available, that being a knife, a stick, or your hands, to strike at those areas and deliver a solid blow, a cut. It could make the reptile release you long enough to effect an escape. 3. Domesticated dogs. Well, it seems the best friends almost made it to number one on the list. Did you know that domesticated dogs are said to be responsible for some 25,000 human deaths each year worldwide, with most fatalities linked to rabies? Some of them have been known to attack joggers, runners, bikers, and so on due to the person's motion, and that motion triggers the canine response to seek out prey. It usually starts with the dog barking to scare off what it perceives as an intruder. Now, if you are confronted by an aggressive dog, always remain calm and avoid direct eye contact. Now, if the dog does attack, always protect your face, 
your chest and your throat. Ball your hands into tight fists to protect your fingers. Now, if there is no way you can avoid being bitten, the safest place for it to occur is in the shin or forearm. Fatal bleeding can occur if you take a dog bite to the thigh. If you have any other strategies, by the way, let us know about them in the comments below. 2. Hippos Now this is regarded as one of the world's most aggressive creatures, and it can back up its antisocial behavior with a massive body that can weigh more than 4,000 pounds with larger specimens. Even with that weight, these animals can still run at speeds of around 20 miles per hour. So should you get on its bad side, the hippo will certainly run you down. With huge, sharp canine teeth and jaws that are powerful enough to chew through a 10-foot croc, just imagine what that beast would do to a human. Now, in fact, hippos are said to be responsible for upwards of 3,000 human deaths in Africa each year. So best to avoid these beasts altogether. Try staying away from the calves, for starters. If a hippo does come after you, though, look for cover in the hills or behind rocks and trees. And remember, if you do see a hippo yawning in your direction, it is not doing so out of boredom. It's actually a warning sign for you to keep your distance. 1. Venomous Snipes According to our sources, there are more than 135,000 human deaths worldwide caused every year by the bites of venomous snipes. So, here's a big tip on what you should not do should such a creature attack. Do not suck the venom out of the wound. That always seems to work in the movies, but in real life, it's more advisable to wash the bite with running water and apply a tourniquet than wait for emergency medical services. Now, before a bite occurs and during an initial encounter, try stamping your foot on the ground. The vibrations can confound the reptile and it could back off. If you're entering an area known to contain venomous snakes, wear clothing that can protect you, including long pants, long sleeve shirts, gloves, and tall hiking boots. And remember to bring along a snake stick. You can use it to ward off the reptile while carefully backing away from it. 